The Scottsboro Memphis and Charleston Depot is a historic train station in Scottsboro, Alabama. Built in 1861 on the eve of the Civil War, the depot is one of three remaining antebellum depots in Alabama built by the Memphis and Charleston Railroad, and the only one outside Huntsville. On January 8, 1865, the depot was the site of a skirmish between members of the 101st and 110th U.S. Colored Infantry Regiment and Confederate forces which resulted in the retreating rebels setting fire to the depot. After being heavily damaged during the war, the rail line and depot became operational again in 1866. While the line and depot changed hands several times in the late 1800s, the depot served both passengers and freight until 1892, when a separate passenger depot was constructed by the East Tennessee, Virginia, and Georgia Railway. The depot continued to service freight until it was closed by Norfolk Southern in the 1980s. Restoration of the depot began in 1991 and today it houses the Scottsboro Depot Museum. The building is divided into a 30x46 foot, 9x14 m, freight room and a 30x18 foot, 9x5.5 m, office.